Well, good evening, y'all, and welcome back to Apron Strings. I'm in the kitchen tonight thinking about the holidays and what I might want to fix when they roll around and get a little closer. So I was going to show y'all something that I like to make to have for them to just snack on when they come through wanting to bite at something a little bit hot or a little bit salty. I'm going to make some oyster cracker uh, bites. Fiesta Ranch uh, flavored oyster crackers. And it's a good treat. And it's easy to make. It just takes a little bit of time mixing it up and pouring it in your big old bag and letting the flavors all blend. So into my bowl, I have uh, four packages of oyster crackers. And I'm going to tell y'all, I got these for a dollar a bag at Dollar Tree. Now y'all may not uh, have a Dollar Tree. If you don't, you can get the Nabisco brand at the grocery store. But I'm going to use four bags of those. And I need uh, one and a half cups of canola oil. And some of y'all don't like canola oil. And that's fine if you don't. Into my canola oil, I'm going to put my package of Fiesta Ranch Mix. And if y'all don't know what that is, it's by Hidden Valley Ranch. And it's like their ranch dip, but it's the Fiesta Ranch. It's a little spicier. I've got a teaspoon of cayenne pepper that I've already measured. I need two and a half teaspoons of crushed red pepper. We like it spicy. Y'all may not want to make it that spicy. It's up to you. Actually, I'm going to put three probably. And I need a teaspoon of garlic powder. And I need a teaspoon of onion powder. Sometimes I heap them up a little bit because I can, because it's mine. And that was my cayenne, and I've already put it in there. I'm going to get my little whisk, and I'm going to whisk all of that together really good. blend it as well as I can because you don't want a just big blob of one thing on top of the crackers. You want it all mixed around in there. And then it, I want a, table, a teaspoon of black pepper, which I don't even think I have a whole teaspoon left in here. I just don't get what I can. Maybe I can. I got a teaspoon. We like it spicy. And once I get it mixed well, now somebody was asking me where I got my long handled measuring spoons. Went on a road trip the other day up to Elmont, Texas, right outside of Waco to Homestead Heritage. And I bought them up there at their little general store. And I bought the last set that they had. So I don't know if they're going to get any more or not. I did film during that road trip, but I haven't gone back to edit it yet, but I'm going to go look at it, and if it's doable, I'm going to uh, do a video showing y'all what's up there and how we enjoyed the day. It was me and a couple of uh, friend girls went. Okay, I'm just going to pour this over my crackers, then I'm going to toss them to get it all covered as much as I can. You have to give it time for that to kind of soak in and the flavors to all blend really well. You're stirring them up. You want to make sure that you stir from the very bottom because the oil with all the goodie in it will sink to the bottom. When you've got them stirred, and every one of them's got coat on, then you want to put them onto a sheet pan. 
And what we're going to do is put them in the oven. I'm going to get all of that that's in the bottom and drizzle it around on here and mix it around some more. And you can put some gloves on and mix this or do what I'm doing just because in a minute I'm going to take it out and kind of stir it a little bit. I've got my oven heated to about 250. Then I'm going to put them in there for about 10 minutes. And then I'm going to stir them and let them do another 10 minutes. Then you have to let them cool before you can put them into your zip bag to keep them fresh. So I'm going to get them in the oven, and then I'll show y'all what's going on here in See, a minute. They're kind of drying and turning a little bit. I'm fixing to stir them, make sure all the sides are doing the same. One's overboard, but I'm sure somebody's animal outside will be glad to do it. Okay, I think the bottom's on the top, and the top's on the bottom, and I'm putting back in there just a little bit more to soak up and dry out just a little bit. And then I will uh, cool them and bag them. Okay, I've got them out of the oven and they're real good and dry. And I'm gonna have to let them cool on the pan. And then I'm just gonna put them in a two gallon Ziploc bag. And um, that's how I'm gonna store them. And they can just open the bag and get them a handful when they want them. Now traditionally, oyster crackers are just used for soup. And if you make this and you sprinkle a little dill in it, they're delicious with tomato soup. That's just an idea for you. I've made these before with saltines, but a few years ago, one of my mother's sisters, Aunt Reem, made them with the oyster crackers, and they were just something different and cute and unique. You know, I told y'all, anything little's cute, so little bitty crackers are cute too. So I made them, and I love the oyster crackers. Um, it's a little more economical to do them with the saltines because the store brand, and today I got today or yesterday, I got some at Walmart for 77 cents for a box of regular saltine crackers and they are as good as the name brand. They're delicious. So that's a little cheaper to make them with saltines, but it's not as cute. It's better to be cute than square. So anyhow, y'all choose your crackers. If you want to make this with saltines, just use one box, four sticks, and uh, use the same ingredients. Hope this will give y'all something for your holiday snack bar or just to go with some soup that you're making and you didn't want to make cornbread have some good seasoned crackers to go with it and in the meantime y'all take care of yourself please share my channel with your friends and on your social media because you'll reach people that i don't know and i can't reach and i want my channel to grow i'm getting more subscribers i'm a i'm past four thousand now and i'm just tickled to death anxious to get to five thousand so if y'all will help me, I'll appreciate it. If you have any good holiday recipes that you would like to share with me to share on the channel, email them to me. My email is below and I'll give you credit for the recipe and we'll have something brand new from me and the ones that's watching. The good Lord bless y'all and I'll see you in a day or two.